वेलकम टू यंग एशिया टेलीविजन प्रेजेंटेड बाय द नेशनल साइंस फाउंडेशन ऑफ श्रीलंका हाय एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ मिहिमान ऑन टुडेस प्रोग्राम वी विल टेक अ लुक एट अ साइंटिफिक मार्वल एंड एन आईडिया दैट हैज ऑफन कैप्टिवेटेड ह्यूमैनिटी एंड लेफ्ट अस इन ऑल स्टे ट्यून्ड शीतपतयनम Today on Mihi Mandala, we'll be exploring the growth and development in the exciting field of robotics, which is about the technology that deals with the design, construction, operation and application of robots. Various types of robots are at hand today to assist us with our day-to-day -day activities. Like for instance, the Roomba vacuum cleaner robot, which does an efficient job of cleaning floors without any human intervention whatsoever. All you have to do is press a button and it will do all the work for you. It will even navigate around your house using its own sensor technology. Now the Roomba is just a simple invention in comparison to some of the highly sophisticated robots that have been created for a whole heap of purposes. Before we take a closer look at these marvels of science, let's first look at the history of robot invention so we can get an idea of how it all started. The history of robotics actually goes back to 1959, but uh, even uh, before that, there have been very significant efforts to design and build uh, automated machines right throughout the mankind, the history of mankind. Uh, it actually goes to the prehistoric era, actually in the Greece, the Rome, and so on and so forth. One of the first machines that uh, the humans designed and made successfully was the water clock the the time measuring equipment and in uh, 18th century there came this flyball governor flyball governor is the machine which was used to uh, regulate the speed of steam engines and then if we come to a very uh, close range 1950s the first time the ideas popped up about robots even before actual robots were invented and put into use in the 1950s decade the idea of a robot had already captivated the popular imagination of the masses through comic book and cartoon characters some of the robots in operation today were created based on these science fiction ideas The term robot made its entry into our vocabulary with Czech writer Karel Čapek's play RUR which stands for Rossum's Universal Robots. In his play, Rossum describes the machines meant to serve their human makers as robota, meaning slave or forced labor. The play ends dramatically. The robots ultimately take over the world and destroy humanity. Such negative perceptions of robots were not uncommon in the past and may even exist today however far fetched they may seem. On the other hand, popular movies such as Star Wars and RoboCop have portrayed robots in a positive light as human aids. If 
for your cooperation. Robots that look and act like humans, known as androids, have been featured in many movies over the decades. In 1941, famous science fiction author Isaac Asimov coined the term robotics in order to lay out speculations for robotics and the imminent robotics industry. His early forecasts now appear to accord with reality. The highly sophisticated robotics industry is making steady advancements and the demand for robots is growing as they are capable of performing tasks with speed, precision and high endurance levels. Modern robots are even capable of independently performing tasks that are hazardous for humans. Next up on the program, we'll find out when, where and how the first successful robot was created. The first robot manufacturing company in the world was established in the United States by George Duvall and Joseph Engelberger in 1956. In 1961, General Motors became the first company to deploy an industrial robot at its automobile plant in New Jersey. The demand for such robot technology in automobile and many other spheres saw significant growth in the 80s decade. This is attributed to the rapid advancements that were made in the fields of microelectronics and computer science. Intelligent robots have since gradually been taking the place of human-operated machinery. How exactly does a robot differ from automated machinery? There are two different types of machines. One type is automated machines. And the other type is actually the robotic devices or robots in short. The clear distinction between these two different types is obvious but you can understand it if you observe how the machine is functioning. For example, if you take a robot, a robot can perform high level tasks like for example um, if there is a vehicle which can drive autonomously along the roads following the signal lights, taking turns left and right, avoiding collision with uh, pedestrians, then that is not just a vehicle, it's a robotic vehicle. On the other hand, if you look at the photocopy machine or any other electrical appliance that you use in your household, or if you go to the industry, you can see a lot of machines which are actually not thinking, uh, which are not actually doing any high level tasks. They are just machines and we call them automated machines. So that is the clear difference between automated machines and the robots. Most of the present day robots found in factories are able to operate 24 hours a day. These robots work with great accuracy and without tiring and are being increasingly used in a number of industrial processes. Such robots bear no resemblance to us humans and fall short of the humanoid science fiction fantasies we've seen in movies. Factory robots are typically made up of hydraulic horses, metal, wires and motors and are controlled by a centralized computer program. These robots have revolutionized the way in which factories function. The introduction of autonomous robots to industrial workflows have resulted in increased production output and maximized profits. Unlike conventional machines, these robots are capable of performing specific tasks on their own with high precision and have proven to be highly advantageous. Robotics technology um, invaded different areas in the society, different applications. There are a lot of robots today that are, can find them in your households, um, uh, cleaning your flow, vacuum cleaning. can see some of the robots uh, on uh, flight to other uh, planets and um, sometimes robots on the planets exploring the geology, the, uh, doing experiments about the atmosphere and so on and sending us the, the results completely autonomously.
The medical field has benefited enormously from robotic technology, especially relating to surgical robotics. Introduced in 1999, Da Vinci Robotic Surgery is changing the experience of surgery for people all around the world. Let's take a look. With the Da Vinci Surgical System, surgeons operate through just a few small incisions. The Da Vinci System features a magnified 3D high-definition vision system and tiny wristed instruments that bend and rotate far greater than the human wrist. A surgeon is 100% in control of the Da Vinci system, which translates his or her hand movements into smaller, more precise movements of tiny instruments inside your body. This system has taken surgery beyond the limits of the human hand. Let's say you have to undergo a surgery, an operation. So what the surgeon uh, does is he cut your body and get the opening and uh, put the tools in and use his own eyes, your own hands and do the operation. So even if the operation uh, is successful, uh, after that there is a wound, a scar in your body and sometimes this cut infects. And this infection actually causes a lot of other problems. To avoid this uh, problem, uh, this technology, robotics technology, provided uh, a solution which is called the minimum invasive surgeries. Robotics has also contributed to some major advancements in prosthetics over the past 20 years. Robots are now successfully taking on dangerous tasks, such as working in extremely hot environments, dealing with highly toxic chemicals, and even exploring places unknown to man, like the planet Mars. In fact, at this very moment in time, there's a robot on Mars named Curiosity. Let's find out what it's been doing on the red planet. The Mars Science Laboratory Curiosity rover, launched by NASA, is a mobile laboratory that is driving across the Martian surface conducting science investigations. Equipped with several state-of-the-art laboratory instruments, the Curiosity rover is able to analyze rock samples and transmit its findings back to Earth. In addition to its scientific experiments, the Curiosity rover has been shooting photos of Mars and relaying them back to Earth daily since it landed on the Red Planet on the 8th of August 2012. While the Curiosity rover is showing its capabilities on Mars, back on Earth, robotic automation systems are proving their usefulness on industrial workflows, and such systems are widely in use across the globe. So, are scientists still keen on creating humanoid robots, as fantasized about in science fiction novels and movies? The answer, yes. Research and experimentation has already led to the successful creation of humanoids, like Asimo, a robot developed by the Honda Corporation in Japan. Let's take a look at Asimo and see what it's capable of. Asimo is the culmination of two decades of humanoid robotics research by Honda engineers. ASIMO can also comprehend and respond to simple voice commands and it has the ability to recognize the faces of a select group of individuals. Using its camera eyes, ASIMO can identify and register stationary objects and can also avoid moving obstacles as it moves through its environment. As development continues on ASIMO, in the future ASIMO might help with important tasks like assisting the elderly, or a person confined to a bed or a wheelchair. Unmanned aircraft, driverless motor vehicles, and deep sea diving robots are some of the incredible inventions in recent history. 
the Google Corporation has developed and successfully trialed an autonomous motor car, which can carefully evade oncoming motor traffic and head towards a given destination. While driverless cars are a reality, it's therefore no surprise that unmanned aerial vehicles also exist today. Commonly known as drones, these robotic planes have proven their usefulness for military and other purposes. In Sri Lanka too, drones were used during the war times for surveillance purposes and attacking identified targets. Everybody has heard about drones, the flying stuff, the aircrafts without a pilot. And these small aircrafts can fly fully autonomously over enemy uh, territories collecting information on the ground and sometimes attacking strategic targets. The USA as well as Israel, they are using this technology to a very higher level. Today, robots are employed not only in the sky and land, but also for underwater exploration. Deep diving is a potentially hazardous task, but not anymore thanks to specialized robots. There are other robots like submarine robots. The submarines with the robotic capability, they can dive deep into the water and collect the information from the seabed and also some uh, ships that, are, that have been submerged uh, maybe hundreds of years ago, collecting that information. From agriculture to healthcare, robots are making their presence felt in almost every industry and in an ever increasing number of countries. Technologically advanced and proven to perform in a safe and sound manner, the demand for industrial robots has grown rapidly and reached an all time high in 2013, according to the International Federation of Robotics. Next, let's find out what can be said about the robotics industry right here in Sri Lanka. In Sri Lanka, unfortunately, this technology is, is used uh, at a very minimum level. We can see only few places where robots are actually being employed for manufacturing or automation uh, processes. This is one of the reasons uh, why Sri Lanka is still struggling to develop. If you look at uh, all the developed countries in the world, they use robots at a very significant level in their manufacturing processes. If we want to develop our country using one of these technological avenues, we have to look at major four technologies. We call them green technologies, G-R-I-N. The second letter R stands for robotics. So world over, it has been accepted that robotics is one of the driving technologies of the world. If you use this technology in your manufacturing processes, you can uh, maintain the same quality in your production process right throughout. And also you can maintain a very high speed of production. You can produce bulk volumes with the same quality. So we are waiting until the day comes where robotics technology is actually widely practiced in our industries. It can't be said that Sri Lanka possesses any advanced robotic technology just yet, although the necessity is quite evident. However, there is a growing number of robot enthusiasts in the country, which is an encouraging sign for the future. Finally on the program, let's take a look at how the University of Morator, Sri Lanka's leading technological higher education institute, is taking steps towards encouraging robot technology in the country. අපි මේ හදලා තියෙන්නේ රොබෝ අතක් මේක අපිට පාවිච්චි කරන්න පුළුවන් ගමන් කරන්න පුළුවන් රොබෝ යන්ත්‍රයකට සවි කරන්න. 
ඊට පස්සේ ඒ රොබෝ හත සවි කරාට පස්සේ ඒක පාවිච්චි කරලා අපිට දොරවල් අරින්න ඊට පස්සේ පුංචි උපකරණ පුංචි බාණ්ඩ උසන්න ඒ වගේ දේවල් කරන්න නැත්තම් ස්විච් එකක් දාන්න විදුලි සෝපානයකට කතා කරන්න ඒ වගේ දේවල් කරන්න ගොඩාක් වැඩ කරගන්න පුළුවන් මේ රොබෝ හතක් ඒ වගේ රොබෝ යන්ත්‍රයකට සවි කළාට පස්සේ හෙල සුනේ පොඩ්ඩක් එන්නක ඉස්සර මේ සුනේ තද ඩ්‍රයිව් කරන්නේ ටෙලි ප්‍රසන්ස් රොබෝ කියලා රොබෝ කෙනෙක් මේ රොබෝ අපිට මේ පාවිච්චි කරන්න පුළුවන් වෙන දුර තියෙන තියෙන තැනක රොබෝව තියලා මේ අපිව රිප්‍රසන්ට් කරන්න පුළුවන් රොබෝ මාර්ගයෙන් එතකොට දැන් අපිට ඔෆිස් එකේ මොකක් හරි වැඩක් තියෙනවා නම් අපිට gedder ඉඳලාම ඔෆිස් එකේ කාත් එක හරි කතා කරලා වැඩක් කරන්න පුළුවන් මේ රොබෝට මේ ආමේකොත් හයි වෙනවා ඊට පස්සේ මේ මොනවා හරි ඕනම දෙයක් ඔයාට මේ රිමෝට් ලොකේෂන් එකේදී කරන්න පුළුවන් ඒක තමයි මේකේ මේ තියෙන විශේෂත්වය මේ මේකේ තියෙන ෆීචර්ස් ගැන කිව්වොත් මේකට පුළුවන් ඔටොනමස්ලි නැවිගේට් කරන්න ඒ කියන්නේ අපිට කිව්වොත් තැනකට යන්න කියලා මේ රොබෝ ඉබේම මේ තැනට යනවා ඊළඟදී තමයි ආම් එකක් තියෙනවා ඒක නිසා මැනිපුලේට් කරන්න පුළුවන් ඔබ්ජෙක්ට්ස් වතුර එකක් කාට හරි දෙන්න දොරක් අරින්න ඒ වගේ දෙයක් ඒ මේකේ තව උඩ කැමරා එකක් හයි කරලා ලෝකලයිස් කරනවා මේ රොබෝ එතකොට දැනගන්නවා යා ඉන්න තැන මේ කොතනද කියලා ඒ මාර්ගෙන් යා තනියම නැවිගේට් කරගන්නවා රොබෝටික්ස් ඉස් නොට ෆන්ඩමන්ටල් සයන්ස් ඔව් ටෙක්නොලොජි ඉට් ඉස් බේස්ඩ් ඔන් අදර් ක්ලැසිකල් නොලෙජ් ඇන්ඩ් ඩිසිප්ලින්ස් වන් ඔෆ් දෙම් ඉස් මැත්ස් ඩෙෆිනිට්ලි මැත්ස් ඉස් අ රිකවයිමන්ට් ෆෝ එනි බොඩි හු වොන්ට්ස් ටු බි ඇන් එක්ස්පර්ට් ඉන් රොබෝටික්ස් not only that uh, you need this electrical engineering electronic engineering mechanical engineering and computer science so the expertise of uh, all these areas is equally important because you are going to work with uh, batteries motors gear wheels in designing your robot and you are going to use computers to program a robot if you look at the major companies who are in the in the process of designing and building complicated uh, robots they work as groups not as individuals so in the group you have a computer scientist you have a good electrical engineer a good mechanical engineer a good math- mathematician so they all come together and talk to uh, work together and design and build robots if you want to be a good uh, robotics engineer who is an expert in the in the field you should first concentrate on your basic knowledge on mathematics and the electrical engineering electronic and computer science thank you for watching this episode of me mandala we hope you found the program interesting goodbye for now